Welcome back to Yankee. Oh, I did it again. I'm sorry. Welcome back to my living room next to my Christmas tree. Complete with everything that you would want on a Christmas tree. Like there's an F3 there, a GG1's there, there's a Hudson, a J engine, a Daylight. The White's totally fine with all that. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you all had a fantastic holiday season and are looking to start 2023 on the right track. <laughs> okay. Anyway, last year we did a holiday series to celebrate the year 2022. 22 trains to celebrate the year 2022. Well, guess what? We upped it one. Well, we didn't. This the world did. And so now it's 23 trains for the year 2023. <laughs> yeah, woo! We're all excited. There is no better way to start the year than taking a look at a whole bunch of train videos. And we're gonna start with the Amtrak. That's right, we're gonna go to Amtrak. We're gonna take a look at two videos that I shot this year. One of the P42 that's still celebrating its 50th anniversary, or at least it's still decked out in its 50th anniversary paint scheme, the number 108 going through Philadelphia. And then we're also gonna go to Holmesburg, Pennsylvania, where we're gonna see the Acela. This soon to be discontinued to sell it. So if you're a rail fan, make sure you get your videos uh, out of that cell before it goes off the rails. But we got it going through Holmesburg, Pennsylvania, one late summer day. So enjoy the first two videos of 23 trains for the year 2023. All aboard. <laughs> So as we all know, different locomotives had different classifications based off of the number of horsepower it has or the number of wheels it has. And in the steam world, we have a whole bunch of different variations like a 4884 Big Boy or a 464 Hudson. Well, in the tri-state area where the Yankee Dab was located in, right in between New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania, we have two railroads that actually operate a consolidation. Now a consolidation is an engine that has two guiding wheels eight driving wheels and no trailing wheels all right and these engines operate on the new hope and Ivyland railroad and the black river and western now the new hope is located in new Hope, pennsylvania and they have number 40 which pulls trips from new hope to lahaska station and back and the black river and western has number 60 which is again another consolidation and it goes from ringos to flemington and back the neat thing about the number 60 is it's actually decked out in this retro 1960 paint scheme. They painted that earlier in the year for a photo chart they did, and they left it the whole season. So we got some videos of that engine looking like a retro look back in the 1960s. So sit back and enjoy some consolidation action. <laughs>
So anyone that's a fan of railroading has probably been to the Strasbourg Railroad once or twice, and they are one of the best operations of steam power out there in the United States. They have four operating steam locomotives currently. They have a Mogul, which is a 260 steam locomotive, number 89. They have a Mastodon type, which is a 480 wheel configuration. That's number 475. They have a Decapod 210 number 90. And of course, they have everyone's favorite useful blue engine, number one, Thomas the Tank Engine. All right, and I call all of these steam locomotives in operation at the Strasbourg Railroad. You know, one of the neat things about Strasbourg is that they operate pretty much on a year-round basis. So you don't have to wait for specific weekends or holidays to go. You can just go on a random weekend in February. They got steam engines running, pulling trains. It is a great experience, a lot of fun, and I highly recommend you check it out. I also throw in a bonus video because they have a visiting locomotive, number 611, the J engine, that pulled a photo charter in November. I was happy enough to be a participant of that. It was a great time had by all. And of course, they all pull these Woodside passenger cars, and these are some of the greatest looking uh, uh, passenger cars that are out there that you will ride on a tourist railway. So all aboard the Strasbourg Railroad. I don't even need to see it. This get me making sound of her. <laughs> Suck it, Christian.
One of the highlights of this year was going to the Illinois Railway Museum located in New Game, Illinois, where we got to see not one, not two, but three operating locomotives. The first one was the Nebraska Zephyr, which was actually an E5 diesel locomotive. Really cool looking train. I really like the sleek elegance of it. Then we had a Shea locomotive, which was number five. And I love seeing all those gears going up and down. It was a really great looking locomotive. And then we had a Frisco Decapod, number 1630. And that was an awesome steam locomotive to see in action. And we saw one of our previous videos that actually did a mail run, which was really cool to see. So check out some of these locomotives from the Illinois Railway Museum. We see some great looking things so far, but you know what? I'm not the only person that has seen uh, trains and did a little rail fanning this year. We have our very own Engineer Hall, who has got some videos of his own that he wants to share to celebrate 2023. Take it away, Engineer Hall! Welcome to the channel. It's Engineer Hall here. Now, on this show, I'm going to show me at work. Mind you, I can't take a video of me actually running the engine, but I can use video of people of me running the engine. Also, thank you for subscribing to the channel and looking at all the videos that me and DJ do with Yankee Dabbler. So once again, sit back and relax and enjoy the videos.
Yeah, it looks fun. like seeing those black and white Norfolk Southern diesels on the rails. Well, you know what? Going back to Steamland now, I've seen some rather small steam locomotives. We got two that I'm going to show you. The first one is going to be from Holidayburg, Pennsylvania. We're going to see an Alco steam locomotive number 11 go down the tracks. That's a really small, but a really powerful locomotive. And they actually recently converted it to oil. That's pretty neat. If you look really closely on the tender, you actually see that they crossed out how many, uh, uh, tons of coal it took and actually replaced it with gallons of water so that was pretty neat to see and then we're going to go to Minersville, Pennsylvania where we're going to take a look at number 113 which is the only central New Jersey locomotive in operation today as it pulls a holiday train going through the snow it's a very nice wintry scene and I hope you enjoy some small steam All right, so if you guys enjoyed the small steam, then you probably will really enjoy the big steam. I love me some big operating steam locomotives. I was fortunate enough to see two really big steam locomotives in operation in 2022. The first one was at the Cuyahoga Valley in Ohio, where I got to see Nickel Play Road number 765 in action. And what was really neat about it is I actually picked up this poster because the Fort Wayne Historical Society, who is the railroad that operates the 765, celebrated their 50th anniversary last year. And I picked up this neat poster uh, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the 765 with a Jeep, I believe it's a GP7 number uh, 358 that they're trying to get in operation. So this was a really neat uh, find for me. And then I was also fortunate enough to go to the Western and Maryland Scenic Railway uh, located in Maryland where I got to see my first articulated steam locomotive number 1309 in action. And this was a really cool steam locomotive to see. See four cylinders. I've never seen an articulated op uh, engine in operation. So this was definitely a really neat one to see going through the Allegheny Mountains. So enjoy some big steam.
As many of us know, the Reading and Northern is one of my favorite uh, locations to check out steam and diesel operation. And this is because they do such a great job not only preserving their equipment and building up their tourist business, which they have been rapidly doing over the last couple of years, but it's one of the few places that you can see a steam locomotive actually operate on track speed because it's their railroad, they can do what they want. So to see a steam engine going 30, 40, 45 miles an hour, it's a pretty impressive sight. And I was very fortunate enough to see four different styles of trains operating at the Reading and Northern this year. They have a 462 Pacific number 425 that is actually going to be due for a rebuild this year in 2023. So I was got able uh, to see a trip that it did in July, one of its la a few last excursions that it did last year. So that was a really neat sight to see. I was able for the first time in over 30 years to see their Reading T1 number 2102 in action. The last time I saw this engine, I was a very little kid here. I hardly remember any of it. So it was really need to be cognizant and actually see the Reading T1 pulling trains going down the line and I was not disappointed so you get to see that. I got to see the F units I had, the former Norfolk Southern F units and I actually have one of them right here. I just got this. This is a gorgeous locomotive. We have seen this in uh, HO scale before. Hopefully one day one of the manufacturers will make this in the HO and N scale in the Reading and Norton. And Lionel just came out with this uh, O scale version. But the four, uh, the 270 and the 275, these are great looking diesel locomotives. I love the F unit series. And of course, I saw some freight trains. And there was a whole bunch of different freight trains that you could do. So I got a video of that very famous Reading and Norton fast freight. And hopefully you enjoy our trip on the Reading and Norton. <laughs> See, I can do diesel too. You don't think that.
Okay, so that was 23 videos to usher into year 2023. I hope you enjoyed watching those just as much as I enjoyed recording them and getting them online for you in this video. I know this year is going to be a fantastic year for all of you. And I know it's going to be a great year for Yankee Dabbler because believe it or not, we already got new stuff in. I can't believe it. It was like a day before Christmas and we were getting new products in. We got some new Broadway limited steam locomotives. I can't wait to show you. You know how I love my steam engines. We got some new diesel locomotives, a bunch of new end scale stuff. I'm so excited to show you all the new things that we can't uh, got in the store. And that's going to be coming to a video very soon. So make sure you get, hit that subscribe button to Engineer Tall channel in case you're not. So you can get caught up in all those new videos we have coming up in 2023. I hope you're enjoying these things that we're doing here. You know, one of the neat things about this hobby, I think, is that you're in control. This is your stress reliever. This is your ability to do whatever you want. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just your answer. And I love the fact that this hobby encompasses everything from scenery to decorating to painting to, you know, the actual trains, the real operations, the fantasy, whatever. It's your railroad. You're in charge. And hopefully we are helping you build that railroad. You're creating your own world that you can get away from it all share with the family share with your friends share with the club whatever you're doing and we just hope you're having a good time and we enjoy making these videos for you to show you what hopefully will be holding trains on your layout real soon if you haven't already submitted your video to our holiday displays please make sure that you send that to engineer hall channel at gmail.com and get your video or your photograph of your train going around your tree menorah whatever we wanted to do this before christmas but the logistics of it just didn't it wasn't possible so we are going to show this video towards the middle of january so if you have not submitted your video and you want to participate please Send it to engineerhallchannel at gmail.com. Send your video, send your photographs, and we'll see your displays. And hopefully, maybe we'll get some ideas from other fellow hobbyists on what you can do with your displays next year. Well, from everyone here at the Engineer Hall channel, which is me, Engineer Hall, and the trains, the most important part, I wish you all a fantastic 2023. Hopefully, you're highballing towards another successful year. Take care, everyone. All aboard! <laughs>